We found this wonderful book from Sears, a 1954 edition Christmas book. And it's got so many great things in it. We thought for those who have interest in going down memory lane, this would be the place to do it. It starts off with men's shirts. Ooh, look at those ties. Remember those ties? Those are so cool. Oh, and then we've got some work shirts. I remember my dad. He went to work, blue collar worker, but he still had to have his shirts ironed beautifully. Look at that nice argyle down there. Whoa. Notice a little stitching around the collar here. You just don't see that anymore. It was so cool. The clothes of that area was great. Just great. Some button-down shirts and sweaters. Some belts. Remember, everything had monograms on it. Everything was monogrammed. Dad's initials was on all his stuff. And then, of course, there was sweaters. You came home at night, you put on your sweaters. Hey, just like Mr. Rogers. He came home, took off his coat, put on a sweater. He was ready for a night, evening, afternoon of relaxing. Ooh, look at that vest. I know, eat your heart out, Christmas party ears. And, of course, the men's jewelry. The tie tacks. The cufflinks. My dad had ones just like that. Everybody wore tie tacks. Oh, look, at if you can see this, it's got the three monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Cute. And, of course, the little um, watch fobs. If you had a pocket watch, you had that little chain hanging out, and it was stuck in your pocket of your vest. And then, of course, the flannel shirts. All the dads, all the men wore the flannel shirts. And the hipsters wear them now. Hipsters wear them now. They've come back. Here's some more great plaids. Ooh, the corduroy. Now, you don't see a lot of the corduroy. That's how it has had a tough time coming back. But it comes and goes. Doesn't stay around too long. Because you always hear it coming. <laughs> and of course, look at the robes. Woohoo! Pretty fancy ones. Look at that. Oh, TV jackets, they called. Smoking jackets. I remember them being called that too. Some more men's pajamas. Look at those patterns. Woo! Look at that nice. Matchy, matchy there. Ooh, man. Oh, and don't forget the Christmassy ones. Oh, of course. Hey, really? these guys look like they just got out of their Star Trek uh, <laughs> days there. <laughs> Star Trek convention outfits. Yep, Star Trek. Yep. <laughs> oh, and then we're on to a little more subtle pajamas. But socks. Some more of the Iregyle. Ooh, guaranteed a fit. Look at that. Ooh. And they probably were guaranteed a fit. Not like today. Good luck, folks. And look at all these socks. Oh, my gosh. All the pretty colors and the slippers. Ooh. You just don't see that stuff anymore. You just don't see it anymore. Oh, okay. This is a little X-rated here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Polka dots, plaids, long underwear for those long cold winter nights. Actually, they were pretty long. They were pretty cold. We only had heat in one room. 
So when you were in your bedroom, you were freezing. You got up in the morning, you took the fastest run as you could to go to the kitchen where the heat was. And of course, men always had their little traveling kits with all their different supplies that they would need as they were traveling for shaving, colognes, combing, doing up their nails, whatever it might be. Oh, and here's the shoes. Whoa, whoa, look at those. Oh, and we haven't been paying attention to the price of things. Um, I suppose if you were looking as um, the pages were being um, filmed, you could have seen them. But for example, if you didn't make it out, these slippers, $4.98. These nice slip-on shoes, $6.95. These nice slip-ons down here, $7.95. Quite the prices. Anything to go back to those prices. Not really the wages of that day. Just the prices of that day. Nice leather gloves. Driving gloves. More monogrammed hankies. Men always had a hankies. They always had the cloth hankies. My dad had a ton of them. And yeah, they had to be iron too. And the places to put your sh shoes. Roy Rogers. Oh, my hero. Ooh, look at these nice jackets. Look at that nice athletic jacket there. Ooh. Look at these jackets. Oh, look at this one here. Isn't that just... Oh. <gasps> you see this one down here? You remember those oh, people one. running into the the age I am? Let's say we're up in the 50s, 60s, maybe a little in the 70s. But that was a clothes we all remember. Wearing, dad's wearing, brother's wearing, grandpa's wearing. Look at the nice fur collar on that jacket. Look how tailored it was. So nice. Price of these jackets, $9.80, $11.90. Leather. Ooh, look at the leather jackets. Nice. And the blue jeans, blue jean jackets. Very popular for the working class of that day. Look at even a little plaid underneath, a little flannel plaid probably underneath when you turn the pants up. Pretty classy. Classy. Some more jackets, some more leathers. Suits. You could buy your, you'd go to the suit store. You would get all measured. I remember my dad doing this. Get all measured for your suit coat. And then you'd get all measured for your pants. Um, making sure they're just the meeting your shoe at just the right point. Right place. The ties, look at that tie, I love that tie. 630 for a pair of nylon dress trousers, unconditionally guaranteed. Thanks, Sears. Some more, more wonderful jackets, corduroy coats, raincoats. $9.85. So now we get to the smoking section here for pipes and tobaccos. And ooh, there's even a little hookah pipe, huh? It's called a Yorkshire pipe. Or they're Yorkshire pipes. Okay, Yorkshire pipes, but interesting pipe there's that pipe rack that was in grandpa stuff 
Look at that. Oh, yeah, the paper racks <laughs> there. Pouches to put your tobacco in. Tobacco, I said. Cigars. Pipes. My dad was a pipe smoker. And there was nothing like the smell of cherry tobacco. I love that smell. Still do today. I'm not a smoker. I did not smoke. My mother didn't smoke. My dad did. But he gave it up in the 70s, I think. Cigarette lighters. That was everybody had cigarette lighters. That was a great gift at Christmas time for someone it was a cigarette lighter. Because everybody smoked. Cigarette rolling machines, if you did your own. I think cigarettes are so cheap, though. Usually, I don't think people did their own that much. And then the men's colognes. And I think we've probably pretty much have wrapped it up. No, we have a little farther to go. Okay, let's see. But Old Spice gave my dad Old Spice every Christmas. That was the cologne for the men to wear. Oh, and the shaving creams, shaving mirrors. Shaving was a big deal, as it still is. But you always had your blades. A lot of men did it the old-fashioned way without the electric razors. Okay, so it looks like we've come to the end of the men's wear and men's accessories section. So we got more to go in this book. Please do subscribe and come back and let's see more of the things in the Sears 1954 Christmas book.